Hi dear friends, good morning. Welcome to my channel. It's Akshya Adhari by Devraj. I hope you guys are uh, working towards to improve your communication in English especially. So let me start uh, today's newspaper reading. Uh, before going to start the newspaper reading, I would request you guys to please subscribe the channel, like and comment. If you like the video, please share with your friends and colleagues and who are uh, your friends. So let me start today's uh, newspaper reading. Yes, guys, today is 7th June. So this is the Hindu newspaper. The Hindu newspaper. The Hindu newspaper for competitive exams and for communication. Bangalore edition. Delhi police visit uh, WFI chiefs UP, UP residents. A look at the true state of the Indian polite. US security advisor to visit Delhi. NCB bus major LSD smuggling syndicate. India and Australia face off in WTC final. IT GST paying families out of the ambit of Guruha Lakshmi. CBI gathers evidence. 83 bodies said to be climate. climate. Mother child burnt alive in Manipur as crisis shows. It's very bad. Woman found murdered in flat. Hit a 23 year old private firm employee was found murdered in my flat at Kodi Ali in Jeevan Bimanaga. Police are looking for a friend who is Hunter and the run. The police have formed four special teams to track down the accused who is from Delhi and is working in Hyderabad. He came to meet the victim Akanksha Vidya sir before allegedly smothering her to death. The murder came to light when Akanksha's flat mate returned from homework on Monday evening. She was found lying on the floor with a dupatta tied around her neck. Based on a complaint, police rushed the spot, rushed to the spot and shifted the body. They were informed by the flat mate that a 29-year-old man Apit Gurichwala had come to see Akanksha on June 5th. Akanksha and Arpit used to work in Hyderabad. Few months ago, Akanksha shifted to Bangalore to work in a private firm. She was sharing a flat. Police suspect that Akanksha was smothered to death with a smother to death with a fellow. An attempt to appears to have been made to hang her from the ceiling fan with her dupatta to make it look like a suicide. The police have alerted all airports and her have circulated Arpit's photograph. Extend suburban rail to Mysore, Okola and Gauri Budhanun Patil. BMRCL has profit up 6 crore to increase revenue through alternative source. Told to stop up Bangalore Mysore Expressway say they endure threats and abuse. High drama at BBMP office has activists staged the Karnataka Child Rights Panel proposes pants as salwar suits, pants of salwar suits as uniform for girl students. Neelam Kaushik among 40 best under 40 MBA professors. SWR cancelled seven times from Bangalore. IS researchers unveil ministry behind Bellanduru Lakes for untreated sewage entering the lake. Heavy rainfall bringing large quantities of runoff from the city. Unsuspended salts containing certain bacteria are some of the factors highlighted by the Team. 1,003 said some tons of e-waste files in Department of Public Instruction. 
primary higher education institute to take a call on scrapping of NEP. Anti-communal wing to be formed in Mangalore to address moral policy. Three help for cheating firms with fake trip details. Bypass for three council seats on June 30. Amid speculation of SPAT for Lesbos, HDDS who has not had ties with BJP. Tenants eligible to get up to 200 units of free power Sidrama. Free bus travel application process you a huge entry barrier for women, women say activists. Doctors must strictly comply with the law and reporting hoax or offenses. New bus service. Moment of Hari Kumban monitored veterinarians, veterinarians treat the injured wild tusker before releasing it into the wild. Tribes people demand the elephant to be brought back to the Chenna. Khanan. TH our state our stays to take it start in Karnataka. Kind attention Bala Sutra and accident. Please come forward and help Odisha Rail accident victims to reunite with their families. The Indian polite a democratic diagnosis useful first step. Issues behind violence in Manipur are not he but truth telling should help. Let me read this editorial page written by the Vice President Past, the former Vice President of India, Amidan Sari. An opinion article last month in one of the India's main English dailies summed up the emerging prospects succinctly. A parliamentary a parliamentary majority is being used as a bulldozer to fashion and autocracy. The new India version of a presidential form of governance, the replacement at the forthcoming inaugural of the new parliament building of the real president of the Indian Republic by the Prime Minister may symbolize more than the ego of an individual. I had some years ago read and put away. Lavitsky and uh, Giblat's book on the page of uh, democracies happy in the thought that India did not find a mention in it. Little had I visualized a time when I dexterous devices would be used in request of the desired objectives. Objective. Our parliamentary system crafted with some care we was sought to achieve law making accountability of the executive approval of taxation proposals and control of national finances and Discussion of matters of public interest and concern. India, it said, shall be a union of states and the pre provisions of Part 11th of the Constitution and would govern the relations between the Union and, and, and the states. Bhavan Bedkar had emphasized that the eventual objective of social democracy is a trinity of liberty, equality, and fraternity best achieved through the effective functioning of the legislature. The executive and the judiciary, these foundational principles were spelled out in the preamble of the constitution and were reinforced by the Supreme Court of India in the basic structure doctrine. 
pre declined the challenge was in effect in uh, effective functioning of the five principal ingredients beginning with the first however data make evident a progressive decline in its functioning year wise section wise and decade wise it is clear that parliament has lost its, its effectiveness as an instrument of scrutiny accountability and oversight instead devices of disruption crafted in opposition and innocently disowned in a government are sought to be legitimized above all the leadership of the day endorses it by a steady silence or lack of attendance or both hand with a noticeable trade ness towards the functioning of the standing communities the end result is a declining process of scrutiny debate and dissent periodic elections of what informed opinion is concerned about its derailment and the, the resultant consequences the emergence of social media as a rival climate to the as per representative in uh, civil society as emerged has both carpon complementary and antithetical to question or supplement the representativeness of parliament it has manifested its, uh, itself in both forms in our pol- polity so as a political scientist put it why parliament has become increasingly representative in a descriptive terms it also simultaneously become unresponsive in terms of legislation and governance and has tended to avoid accountability by closing ranks an element of ideological orientation in the shape of a dharmic sanctification 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 as in the parliament ceremony was used to reinforce it these moves suggest a design for centralization and personalization and the creation of a pure or jaim like uh, image not unknown in recent history alongside administrative devices have not have been sought to be used to bring in line state institutions have and gain uh, impact on the electoral process both contributed to the achievement of a transition from populism to electoral authoritarianism both are violative of the spirit of the constitutional text one consequence of this trend reflective of the unease gain generated by it is a statement in the shape of a letter written to the president of india recently by a group of former civil servants rep- expressing concerns concern over attempts by the government to change the character of the civil service and its functioning leading to the civil servants being torn between conflicting loyalties thereby weakening their ability to be impartial this has disturbed the federal balance and left civil servants torn between conflicting loyalties thereby weakening their ability to be impartial in the twan development these trends in the changing uh, character of the indian polity have caused public concern and have not gone unnoticed by observers abroad one editorial comment of pine that hindu nationalism in india is writing an epitaph for the country's experiment with multi ethnic secular democracy <coughs> it is storm published last year christoph christoph jafar jafar let a lot analyzed the hindutva ideology laced with populism based on israeli scholar sami smohas theory of ethnic democracy defined as the theory ideology of a group that considers itself bound by racial linguistic religious or other cultural characteristics with a sense of superiority and rejection of the other generally perceived as a role real or perceived threat to the survival and identity of the ethnic nation the conflation between nationalism and hindutva has been the backbone of the new hegemony that has been of immense help to the bhartiya janata party in projecting a potent conjoint image of hindutva under development that is suha that has suha's uh, palshikha had pointed as pointed out is why the bhartiya jawati janata party has been so happy with the intellectual trying to problematize <coughs> problematize the nation the that a particular intellectual initiative simultaneously places the bjp in a position of immense advantage and ensures that anti bjp would unnecessarily be equated with the anti national independently both ideas in the thwand development are potent political discourses by waving them together with the nationalism and the body has bound them into an arsenal of its political offensive <coughs> 
This careful calibrated personality cult with an image of impalability has been reinforced by the publicity associated with, associated with its associated with India's presidency of the G20. The entire body is to much prize the public, particularly the middle class, with the delusion of an image of India being the wish for guru at a time when the contrary is observed in the falling as standards in educational institutions in rising unemployment and its impact of public well-being. A new parliament building questions. The inauguration of the new parliament building, new pa uh, new pa building of parliament was noticeably devoid of any suggestions to make its functioning more meaningful. The formal equality of the two houses seems to have been done away with and the leaders of the Lok Sabha in, in its oration could have suggested board didn't measures to increase the working days to 1900 days as in the first initiate the practice of having a prime minister's question hour each week in both houses and proposed more effective measuring up for the functioning of this committee system to enhance its effectiveness and public confidence more working space for the members of the parliament could thus be justified in practice no such suggestions however were functioning were forthcoming so will the new building contribute to a more <coughs> functional and productive parliament will it enhance the dramatic democratic process in the polity will it as the as the prime minister said in his inaugural speech awaken the sense of duty in every indian and include in it those who sit and work in the new structure and those who lead in it lead it in its uh, primary duty would he recall to himself and his colleagues Ambedkar's uh, December 1952 lecture on conditions precedent, precedent uh, for the successful working of democracy? This is about the Indian polarity. A global harder as technology is much needed polar poster. <clears throat> Ever since the dot-com bubble burst in 2000, the rapid scale and pace of development of technology have radically and disruptively transformed our societies and daily lives. While there is no denying that this has made life easier, it has also thrown up complex challenges uh, that call for a revisit of some fundamental notions in polarity and governance. Challenges to notion of nation state. First, a defined by political theorists, a nation state is a territorially bounded sovereign polity. However, this fundamental notion of a nation state of a geographical unit in which a citizen's life is undergoing a massive change because of technology. Why geographical uh, boundaries are still essential to be safeguarded against physical aggression innovation. There are now several externalities, externalities occurring across the borders of nation states. That is, cyber attacks which have a ripple effect on the physical boundaries to challenge their socio-economic and political experience existence. The advent of Web3, massive peer-to-peer -peer networks and blockchains has allowed doctor actors, both state and non-state, uh, to influence areas such as trade, commerce, health and education even while remaining outside of a uh, financial and judicial scope. <coughs> Second, geography-based rules are no longer easily enforceable simply because of the declining significance of conventional geographical borders in the era of high technology. Now, any form of virtual activity is not confined to the realm of the borders of your country. Data travel on the... <coughs> chain of the world wide web and spread across the world at speed hitherto unimaginable more importantly when such activities fall full out full of the loss of a particular geographically determined nation state it is extremely difficult in the absence of a globally accepted norm to enforce the law in that particular geography and book the recalcitrant actors under the laws of the nation state it is difficult to collect incontrovertible, incontrovertible evidence without cooperation <coughs> from other geographies. So when the national sovereignty of countries is challenged by activities behind their physical boundaries, their existing constitutionally set up institutions comprising the executive legislature and judiciary will prove inadequate in tackling them. 
Further, it is also difficult to establish applicability of any country's specific uh, legislation due to the universal nature of technology leading to problems in enforceability. Third, the emergence of newer technologies has exposed the incapacity and inability of the government of the nation state to administer and regulate these technologies. No longer is the nation state the only conduit through which multinational cooperations, corporations, non-governmental organizations and supranational organizations uh, both legitimate and illegitimate. State and non-state actors need to cooperate. These entities have transcended physical boundaries to collaborate with the rest of the world independent of traditional administrative and regulatory institutions. For instance, topographical maps which used to be produced by public and military institutions are now available entirely by private non-state actors such as Apple or Google Maps. Governing complexities and technology on the economic side with the evaluation of more than 400 4,100 billion, the five largest American tech companies, Google, Amazon, Facebook, Apple, and Microsoft, have symbolically surpassed Germany's GDP, the world's fourth largest economy in terms of valuation. One of the most important levers, levers of, the, um, these, of these companies is data and their use. This means that the data have become the most important raw material of our times and only a handful of companies now hold unparalleled economic power and influence over it. These are the meta platforms. Their huge size allows them to constantly increase the amount of information they analyze and refine the algorithms they use to influence, if not control us and our activities. Thus, as reiterated by India in the first at various international fora, the borderless nature of technology and more importantly, anonymity of actors involved have challenged the traditionally accepted concepts of sovereignty, jurisdiction, regulation, and privacy. In such a scenario, a principle based a global order for technology would help in streamlining the enforceability challenges in the adoption and diffusion of technology and providing a guidance to emerging economies on how to deal with the evolving definitions of the sovereignty. Further, as we have seen in case of the COVID-19 pandemic, the way forward in managing future global pandemics is probably by the adoption of the digital health. But what will the meaning what will the meaning of this digital health framework be if it if we cannot have a data sharing ecosystem based on privacy, free upload of data and a global regulatory system are trusted by all countries, nation states, particularly developing countries. Therefore, India needs a data transport and a data privacy law. But these laws in isolation will only be able to do, my, do so much unless, as a, unless a global principle based regulation architecture trusted by all countries facilitates it. Facilitates it. I exposed this approach in Parliament on the need for a global order for the deep web, crypto or regulations for cross-border data flow. Even the Finance Minister, while addressing a meeting with the International Monetary Fund on the guidance of a G20 event on virtual private digital assets, emphasized the need to have a globally coordinated approach to the regulation of digital assets as, a, as such as cryptocurrencies given the potential risks they pose to the world's financial ecosystem. While India, with India the, as the current chair of the G20, this is the perfect opportunity to take a leadership in this as it has done earlier in green initiatives, such as the International Scholars Solar Alliances, Alliance are the coalition for disaster resilient infrastructure. Resilient infrastructure. This is about the India's technology, global technology, much, need, much needed uh, poster. Climax at the summit. India will have to hold its uh, now in the WTC finally to come out on top. Let me go to the next page. Seeing India's energy transition through its state. LDF progress report. China overtakes the US in scientific research output. Active preparations on PMC PMC's US visit. 
Jeka, Sulivi and arriving in New Delhi, Hamite, plurry of meetings signed up Narendra Modi's visit to New York and Washington later this month. And the two sides are expected to finalize the agenda for the Prime Minister's trip as well as the strategic and defense agreements as agreements they hope to sign or announce. CBI gathers evidence, said the body said to be climate. Manipur government had to take stand on Harding Maithis to ST list. Then see Barry 6 up to a huge hall of LCD and LSD and marijuana. Delhi police visitor uh, Bridge Bhushan has a dance in Gonda to record statement of associates. Accident probe team member now submits a note of disagreement. A senior section engineer had earlier concurred with the two page report. He disagrees with the finding that the movable rail at the accident spot was set for the loop line instead of the main line. Passengers inside the Kamma Coromandel Express has it is leaves Banaga Bajar station on Tuesday. And Ruffled by criminal price, quietly serving the victims of the deadly crash. CBI probe is headline management, says Congress. Hudson probe team member now submits a note of disagreement. Parties United pilot not plotting new outfit. Charge sheet reveals alleged charts between Amrut Thabad Navis and Buki. GDP GST members can't hide economic distress. Five not eight districts in country are free of manual scavenging. Ministry report. Centre has maintained in recent parliament sessions that there are no manual scavenging uh, deaths and attributed those to hazardous cleaning of sewers, sewers and aseptic tanks. Budget makes no allocation for manual scavengers rehabilitation scheme. Indigenous heavy weight uh, torpedo successfully tested. Tensions brewing in Uttarakashi after alleged bit to Khanda abduct Mahana Girl. Modi school to be developed as a model institution. Seawar. Seawars and septic tanks. Sacredness of cows. Trentline dam blown up in Kerul Kherson. Russia and Ukraine blame each other. Iran reopens its shut Saudi Arabia embassy after seven years gap. European court condemns Russia over poisoning of Navalny in 2020. US Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrives in Saudi Arabia. UK government and media in, coll in uh, collusion. Prince Harry. Unfazed by sanctions, it unveils a new hypersonic missile that can cover 1400 km. Retail inflation likely seized in May. Economists estimate that consumer inflation may have eased further last month due to moderation in food prices on a sequential basis. However, retail inflation too is expected to have inched up 0.2% in May compared with 0.2% decline in April. A can't cut all other apply lines, right? Right, see, it wants to expand internet economy to hit 1 trillion by 2030. St. <coughs> Gobi unveils low carbon glass. Fee farm pick stake in KPN farm fresh. Test cricket's ultimate prize avoids as Titans clash. All pitch, all pitch will assist a spinners. A good venue for India Tendulkar. Real luxury has captured to have a fifth bowling option who can take wickets. She is coming. 
Skipper Rohit handwilling to Duvela and India's barren run at a global ICC events. Djokovic passes the Kachu Kachano test reaches semi final for the 12th time at Roland Garros. Sunil Kumar clinches Asian under 20 Kitakatlan gold. More gold medals for India in junior World Cup shooting. Move it out of England, play at least a three test series. A such and Javers Jarrow is back in the slam mix, but can he stay afloat in a crowded marketplace? How, will, how well do you know you are Roland Garros? I don't support the war or my president Sabalenka. Will the IWHO's pandemic treaty leave out antimicrobial resistance? Just three years after the onset of a pandemic, it is understandable why members, states are negotiating the pandemic instrument have focused on preventing pandemic that resemble COVID-19, but not all pandemics in the past have been nor those in the future will be caused by virus. Honey, good has gold. When bicycles were a luxury and avenue trees the norm in Bangalore. The city has changed enormously in the last 25 years. So I am afraid that it has changed without our being conscious of how fast and how far it, is, it has gone. How far and how fast and how far it has gone. Dual use of autos can increase the hunting of drivers, says study. It is harvest foraging uh, for food in uh, Bangalore's parks and empty plots. Talk on a book. Taste of Turkey Sessions Why is there trouble in Kosovo again? The sanctioned funds to expand Delhi University's library, the number of unique receipt disability identity cards issued in India, annual composition owed by over emitting nations to India, a Pakistan government's total debate increases as per the central bank, a boat carrying refugees sank in the Bayabenga. Why is there trouble in Kosovo again? Where do the roots of tensions between Kosovo and Serbia lie? What happened after Kosovo declared independence in 2000? What triggered the recent clashes? So what way do the EU broker resolution tax stand? What role does Russia, NATO and the EU play in the conflict? Deconstruction theory how it challenges the text and ecosystems of meaning making. Alji, a born French philosopher, Jockey Derrida introduced the theory and practice of deconstruction. It had a tremendous impact on several disciplines, banned literary criticism, including anthropology, sociology, psychoanalysis, feminism, queer theory, and architecture. At least two central people were killed and more than a thousand were injured in a three train collision in Balasur on June 2nd. He has a quick and train accidents from across the world. Yes, I'm going to hand this video, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading newspaper and please read at least two hours uh, to keep your uh, communication good. Uh, and maintain uh, to uh, make you better in communication. So I hope you guys are doing great and also uh, Please subscribe the channel and like and comment for more uh, videos related to health education and jobs and uh, Have a great day. Bye. Bye. See you in the upcoming videos